we've got ourselves a good recycled game here. The one thing we haven't covered though is after five seconds if the user hasn't pressed one of the three buttons they should really lose a point. So if we go down to the clock timer, if you recall that's when the five seconds are up and we switch the picture. Well the other thing we want to do is subtract one from the score. So I'm going to duplicate this set global score to global score minus one and I'm also going to grab this set score text. So if you recall, just changing the variable doesn't affect what gets displayed. So now we should start to see. And because I was talking during most of this, the score variable was going down by one each five seconds. And that's why when I finally displayed it, it jumps to a large number. So we've got that part working. Now the problem is if they press a button so for instance this should give them a point and it does but immediately you see that it switched so when they press a button we want to reset the timer back to five seconds so what we're gonna have to do is something that's a little bit tricky so tricky in fact that I'm gonna write this down so it's easy to follow when a user presses one of the three buttons, the first thing we'll do is stop the timer. So we don't want the picture to change at all while we're doing any of this other stuff. So we're going to check whether they're correct or not, update the score, display the new score, and then we'll change the image. The last thing we need to do is to restart the timer to start counting down for five seconds. Now if they don't press a button, the timer is going to go off after five seconds. In that case, we want to subtract one from the score, display the new score, and change the image. The first thing we want to do is to make sure when the user presses one of the three buttons that the timer stops. And to do that, we go to the clock and there's the timer enabled property. And that either turns the timer on or off. And we go to the logic and we want to set it to false. And actually what I want to do is I want to put this right at the top. So the first thing, I, the minute I hit, press the button, I stop the clock. Then I can do all my checking and updating of the score. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to add that to my other two. So let me find my other two buttons. Must be way at the top here. Here they are. So I'm going to add this to the top of when compost button dot click and I'll copy and paste that again and put it at the top here. Okay, so we've got that part. The other thing we need to do is after we've done all this checking and resetting, we want to turn the clock back on, which would mean setting timer enabled back to true. So I can duplicate this, put this at the bottom, and set it to true. I'm starting to see that I've got a couple of different things I need to do for each of the buttons as well as the timer. So updating the picture, making sure the clock is turned back on, and updating the score. I'm going to make a procedure to do that. It just helps to organize it a bit better and make things clearer. So I'm going to go to procedure, drag out a two procedure block, and I'm going to call this new picture. So essentially that's what we're doing, kind of resetting everything. And inside of this, I'm going to say these two things, displaying the score and turning the clock back on. And then the other thing is we're going to grab this and I'm going to move that up. Each time as a reset, we're going to display the new score, generate a new picture, and then make sure that we've reset the clock. So we're going to turn the clock back on. And then what we can do is call this procedure from the bottom or the end of this button click event. So we're going to put it right at the bottom of the event block. So when you call a procedure, it jumps over and runs through those blocks. Say when I press the compost button, I'm going to turn off the clock, check whether or not the user is correct, and either add one or subtract one from the score, and then what's really going to happen is I call new picture, which will jump down here, display the new score, display a new picture, and then turn the clock back on. 
So what I can do then is call new picture for my rubbish button and then let me go down here and add it to my recycle button. And then I don't need that set score.txt, so I can just delete that. And I can remove that from rubbish button.click too. And then the other place that we need to do this is the clock timer. So the clock timer, uh, we're going to also call new picture. So that means that if the user doesn't press a button in the five seconds, it will jump to the clock timer event. I'll subtract one from the score and call new picture, which jumps back up here, displays the score, generates a new picture, and then turns the clock on again. Okay, so that's a lot, and we could do this without a procedure, but it got to the point where I was doing a few different things, so three different blocks, in multiple places, so I thought it would, this would be a good opportunity to make a procedure and organize things and know that I'm doing the right thing in all the different places. So we have the three button click events as well as the clock timer when I want to do all these things. So now we can test this to make sure that it's going to work. I've got my emulator running and so my clock timer should start deducting and changing the picture which works so another five seconds so it's changing the picture and updating the score now I can start pressing these buttons and increasing score and changing the picture uh, that seems to be working let's do an incorrect I'll do another incorrect correct so it looks like everything is working. It would be good to just keep trying all the different buttons and making sure that you can add and subtract uh, and also letting the clock timer deduct. Looks like we have a good working recycle game and all parts of it work at this point. But there are definitely ways that you can improve upon this game. Here's just a few ideas for you. First, add more images. Certainly the compostable and rubbish list are on the short side, so find more images that you can add to your game. You could speed up the timer. Say the user gets to 10 points or 20 points, then you can speed up the timer so maybe it changes the picture every three seconds. You could save your high score. You could use the component TinyDB to save it on your phone, and the next time you come back, your, old, your high score will be there. You could also add sound. So when they gain a point, you could have a yay sound, and when they lose a point, you could have a boo sound. Be creative. These are just a few ideas to get you started, but I'm sure you have great ideas of your own. Have fun!